Indian and Bangladeshi cuisine is very, very popular in not only in UK, in the whole Europe and in the whole world, I can say. And I wish all the best for this function. Thank you. The Asian industry, caterer industry, I think this is, uh, with this forum, we, I'm from Indonesia, and uh, as you can see, our culinary is almost similar as uh, from South Asia. We also have curry. And that is exactly why we are participating in these kinds of events because we are also part of Asia. It's important that we recognize the contribution of the Asian curry industry. It's uh, worth about four billion pounds and it's been suffering a lot of uh, damage from the current government's policies, increases in VAT, uh, the lack of banking facilities and loans to small and medium-sized businesses, including in this industry, and the lack of support from national government. There's also a massive problem with some of the immigration rules that uh, have led to um, not being able to get skilled chefs from other countries when there's a skilled shortage. So what's really important is that we find different ways of supporting this industry uh, and that the government steps up to ensure that these small and medium-sized businesses, family run often, um, that are making a big contribution to the British economy, get help and get support in order to stay afloat and help create jobs as they have been doing for a long time 
and sustain our economy. The message I want to give is that the UK government really values the contribution the Asian catering industry makes to UK PLC. Obviously we're very keen to work with the Federation and the Asian Catering uh, Association really to ensure that the things that matter to, to, to them as a catering industry is something that the government uh, takes up and responds to in a positive way. There's a limit to what the government can do on some of the issues that I know the catering industry would like uh, the government to move on, such as VAT, but I think there are other areas such as uh, training and skills and employment where the government can make a contribution. And of course, the very positive uh, news that we've had on the economic front in the last couple of months, which suggests that the economy is beginning to grow again, uh, is good, good news for everybody, particularly, I think, for the catering industry as a whole. I'm uh, very glad to see uh, that the uh, Curry Award is uh, becoming uh, more global and internationalized. And, uh, of course, in Japan, we have imported uh, South, South uh, Asian curry, and uh, curry is uh, going uh, really global. And so it is uh, very encouraging to see this award you know, being recognized by many more people and uh, uh, I'm uh, very much excited uh, about this progress. Well, we need to maintain immigration controls and I feel that the industry must undertake training for people who they can recruit in this country and not rely on getting people from abroad. Now, the industry must also think about employing all sorts of people in the United Kingdom and making the job attractive. But I'm very pleased that the, uh, the Federation of the Asian Catering Organization, they're working together, they're working hand in hand, because we have uh, a great desire in United Kingdom to have uh, curries. Today is uh, we have uh, the function be organized by Federation of Bangladesh Federation, Catering Federation jointly uh, to build up the networking with the whole Asian country working on one platform. And we achieved that because there is the 10 countries being here today, all ambassadors there. So we achieved that one. And in, we are today we launched the Asian Curry War 2013, which are going to take a place in Gromner, Gromner House. And today event was a massive success. We had a great speaker. We discussed about the BAT issue, immigration issue, training. So most of the cover and all the other high commissioner ambassador who came, they showed the support. They're going to work with the Catering Federation for betterment for our catering district.